Hello guys, it is your girl Mirandy and I'm back with another video and I got another message for you guys and Heavenly Father wants you to know never lower or change your standards for anyone else. Again, I repeat, never lower or change your standards for anyone else. And so, um, God gave me a dream last night and he showed me a woman who pretty much was at her breaking point and she was just getting tired of waiting for her kingdom spouse. And so this is a kingdom spouse message. And so don't stop and don't lower your standards and don't stop being obedient to God because you're tired of waiting because of your lack of faith because your lack of belief and God showed me there's a woman here or someone under the sound of my voice who watches my channel who has been thinking about just throwing in the towel and just saying like hey like what am I waiting for like I'm tired of waiting and like either you don't know who your kingdom spouse is and you're getting ready to come in like connection with them or either you're not with your kingdom spouse and you know who they are and you guys are just not talking at this time but at the end of the day Heavenly Father wants you to know, do not lower your standards for anyone else. And he's letting me know that if you decide to lower your standards because you are ready to throw in the towel, you know, God will not allow you to have something that's going to have you. So if he sees that you're idolizing the thing, he sees that, hey, like, you know, you care about this more than you care about me. God's not going to give you something that's going to pull you away from him. He's not going to give you something that's going to take you away from him. Because he doesn't want those things to have you. He doesn't want you to idolize them. He doesn't want those things to, you know, be the foundation of your life. He wants to be the foundation of your life. He wants to be your everything. He wants you to give everything to him. And when you do give everything to Heavenly Father and you seek Heavenly Father, you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness so all things after can be added on to you, then he will give you your desires. He will give you everything you want. Remember, all things after will be added on to you. So he wants to give you, you know, the desires of your heart. He wants you to have good things. Um, this goes, this relates to why he had me in the book of John and he had me meditating on John 10 of 10 and as you guys know this ministry is called abundance ministry and Heavenly Father had me meditating on John 10 of 10 which is the thief only comes to steal kill and destroy but I have come so that they may have life and may have it more full abundantly and so Heavenly Father was really breaking that down to me and just explaining like what he meant by that and what it means to have an abundance. What does it mean to have more than what you need? Because that's what abundance is. Abundance is more than enough. And so God will give you more than what you even ask for. But he doesn't want those things to destroy you because oftentimes if we are blessed with our blessings at the wrong time, then what will happen? We're not going to appreciate it. We're not going to value it. We're not going to take care of it. We're not even going to know how to steward it. That's like giving a 10 year old keys to drive a car and they don't have a license, you know? They haven't gone through the written test. They haven't gone through the driver's test. And I'm pretty sure there are people who learn how to drive before that. Just an example. But at the end of the day, you know, ultimately, that's not something that you would want. 
you would not want to put someone in a position to have something that they don't even know how to take care of, that they don't even know how to appreciate, that they don't even know how to steward. So God's not going to give you more than what you can manage. God is only going to give you what you can manage. Because at the end of the day, we're, nothing is ours. We're just stewards over everything. This is just everything. This is all temporary. And so, um, just don't change your standards. And don't lower your morals, your values, your standards, your beliefs. Just because you're tired of waiting. And things don't look like what it seems God is doing something behind the scenes, but oftentimes, in order for us to receive, we have to first be tested to see how we are going to react. Are we mature enough? God can, God showed me, he says, he has, for every single one of his children, he has an inheritance for each and every single one of his children to obtain at a time of maturity so just like a trust fund you were giving a trust fund to your child you would set it up to where that child is only able to receive it at a certain age once they get to a certain age where you feel like they are mature enough Heavenly Father is the same way he's only going to give us what we are mature enough to have and handle his burden is easy or I'm sorry, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And so if his yoke is easy and his burden is light, why would he give you something that you're not able to handle? He's not. He's not. And so continue to keep doing what you're doing. Have your morals. Have your faith. Keep your standards. Don't throw in the towel because when you're ready to throw in the towel when you least expect it that's when god blesses you that's when god blesses you and you know that's when the enemy attacks more that's when the attacks the warfare starts to kick up and so don't lower your morals don't lower your standards don't lower your values because of anyone else stay grounded in yourself and your faith in what you believe in and don't allow anyone to move you don't be what the Bible says blown with the wind so whichever way the wind blows that's way you're going don't follow the crowd be a leader not a follower and so continue to keep your morals your values don't lower your standards I pray this message blesses you. I love you guys. Be blessed and I'll be back with another video. Elohim willing. Bye guys.